Hello guys and welcome back. Welcome back to Don't Slow Hobbies. In today's video we will be discussing Star Wars. Not just any Star Wars. My childhood Star Wars. I have been watching this show since it first came out in like what 2007? 2008? Wow, let me just say for a second, it's amazing, Go, coming from 2008, and uh, seeing how much people have looked down upon the show, and really thought the worst of Ahsoka, it, even Rex, not a lot of people actually thought Rex was a cool character, of course, I was a snot nosed little brat in the perfect time to get into the show, you know. The show was made for snot nosed brats like me, and the show grew up with kids like me. Even as I was reaching high school age, and maybe. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Star Wars, I've always loved it, but there was a time where I was very much reaching my hands more into anime than I am uh, reaching my hands into my Darth Vader backpack, you know. Um, I was very much more into anime for a time there, and I should have probably been, should have probably stopped watching the show. And just for some reason, the story of Star Wars, that's what interests me. And my god, I think what we have here, um, diving deep into Star Wars Episode 3 with this last season, is what truly uh, excites me about Star Wars, is how great the storytelling is. You know, George Lucas, I can only give him applause and nothing but uh, applause for everything he's done in terms of storytelling and same with Dave Filoni that this is just fantastic and now we get into episode 11 of the Clone Wars season 7 and what when this show got canceled I it got canceled twice it got canceled on Cartoon Network and then they put on Netflix, and I was excited to see three more seasons of uh, my absolute favorite show. And then they did one season, and Disney took over. And the last two seasons that we were supposed to get got thrown into a couple of books. And one of them was never even told, and that was the ending of The Clone Wars. And now we get to sit down and we get to see it with this last season. And this last arc is not an arc. It's a movie. It's We're right in the middle of Star Wars Episode 3. We're right in the beginning of it. And uh, Episode 9 was fantastic. Episode 10 blew my mind. And Episode 11. Darn you, Dave Filoni. <laughs> Cause you got me here with this episode. You got me here. And darn it, this episode was so short. I needed more of this episode, guys. When I got done watching it, I was like, no, no, don't stop it with the music. I need more of this episode. But of course, they ended it with such a cliffhanger. Um,. And the entire episode got me right here. It got me in the feels. And man, I just don't know what else to say. So let's go ahead and review this episode. So first off, we have Mole captured. And it was pretty cool to see him uh, in that Jedi. Apparently it was some sort of Mandalorian Jedi whole body suit crate thing that the Jedi couldn't uh, use any of their powers through. So that, that was interesting and uh, to know that that was the only one that she had and that they were illegal by um, 
uh, Duchess Satine well, was just some interesting uh, information. But, uh, oh my god, Darth Maul looked so cool in, in that. And when he came out of that, that too, I love Ahsoka's smirkiness when it comes w with him, you know? She's not ruined for him. She, she just... She freed them because she needs a distraction, and uh, that's the only reason why she's even working with them. She she hopes that he gets blown up by the clones, basically. I just thought that was really interesting, and I really liked Ahsoka's snarkiness with uh, Mole. I, I find their um, dialogue uh, entertaining, and when Mole is like, are you gonna give me a flying chance, aka Please hand me a lightsaber so I have a flying chance to get them. And she's like, I'm not ruined for you to survive, fool. Go. Do your job. Get killed along the way. <laughs> it's basically what she said. Okay, so she didn't say exactly that. But um, that's basically what she said. And I thought that was very entertaining. But the part that got me in the heart was seeing... Everything that had to do between her and, of course, our boy Rex. So we already know that Rex survives because not only is he in Star Wars Episode 6, the true real ending of Star Wars. Forget 7, 8, and 9, that piece of trash. But let's go ahead and not forget that he actually had his thing removed, his chip removed, in uh, Star Wars Rebels. In Star Wars Rebels, he has a scar on his head, and he says he had his chip removed, and so, oh, were his Clone Wars brethren. They had their chips removed. And here we are in Star Wars The Clone Wars, and he hasn't had his chip removed yet. So to see him, first off, talking to... Ahsoka Tano about uh, his views on the war is it, it, kind of confusing because without the war, the clones wouldn't be born. And her her saying all about how she has she was supposed to be a warrior of peace, but all she has turned out to be uh, a keeper of peace. Sorry, a keeper of peace, but all she turned out to be is a warrior throughout her entire life. And how um, her best friend uh, ended up being Rex. And I just loved that moment. Of course, we kind of got that spoiled in the... Uh, uh, it was like a little teaser trailer thing. I really kind of didn't want to watch it. I tried to stay away from it. But then it was everywhere. And I'm like, okay, let's see what this is. And I loved that moment uh, even more in this episode. But darn it, when Rex starts shooting as Soka Tano, when Rex sees Palpatine and commits Order 66, I blew my mind. Uh, it, it just blew my mind. I was like, what the heck? This is Rex. This is my favorite clone. Okay, I could understand if they did Jesse. But Rex? Rex? Really? I was kind of expecting uh, the Bad Batch to come in uh, in either episode 10 or episode 11 and for Echo to commit Order 66, which we, we know we've been through the Clone Wars all together with Echo this entire time, so um, Echo is a fan favorite. He's a favorite of mine, and it would be very sad we finally get Echo back and then him to commit Order 66. I'm pretty sure that he did. But, uh, the fact that we actually see Rex, someone that we have had more experience with turn on Ahsoka just like that, um, got me in the feels. It, it really did. I bet it got to a lot of people, too. And I, I liked how they brought back what happened in, uh, was it Season 6? I think it was season six, could have been season five, but what happened with fives? And oh my god, you want to talk about emotional scenes when five die? Yeah, it still gets to me, um, that whole thing about fives, how fives found out 
about the chip, and he tried to warn the public, all of the uh, Republican Army, only for um, them having to no choice but to shoo him out of what hopefully was the fence, even though it doesn't really look like it in the scene. Uh, just killing fives, that was really, really shocking. And, and you know, they say the Clone Wars, oh, it's just for kids. These are actually really, um, not dark story. And that's what I love about the Clone Wars. It doesn't treat its audience like goofball kids that can't understand. They actually go into very much detail. And as a kid, you will love the lightsabers. You will be a little bit bored by the politics. But you will love... Uh, R2, the adventures with R2 and ah Ahsoka, you will love that stuff. But as an adult, you can also go back and watch it. And this is why I never got out of the Clone Wars, really. You can also go back and watch it. Uh, realize, um, uh, how dark, uh, the show really got. And understand the themes of the show. And that this is actually really important to teach kids about. And that's what I love about the Clone Wars. It does teach kids about politics. It does teach kids about how things work and and, and uh, um, slavery and stuff like that. It does teach kids about that. But it still is just a great adventure as well. So, there's... I, I love the Clone Wars. I grew up with it, so... As Rex turning on Ahsoka... Man, that... That got to me. And then, of course, uh, she does um, ha get some help from droids. I thought that was fun. She gets to Rex. They do surgery on Rex. Gets the uh, little thing out. And I really liked her using the Force powers. Um, trying to ha help uh, locate where the chip was. That was really interesting. Well, Rex started saying the mantra as well. That, that was just fun. It kind of shows that even though you're not force sensitive, the force is still one with you. I love that about that episode. And my god, it ended there with Rex saying, They're in all of us. The entire army is to wipe out the Jedi Order. Wow. What an episode! What an episode, man! I love the story. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know how you guys liked it. Oh, it got to me though. I was I was in tears when I saw Rex attack Ahsoka Tano. I was. And I don't get into tears very often. I was. Thank you guys for watching and I am out. Bye.